Welcome to the instruction video of the Fetal Cell Count Kit for the diagnosis of fetomaternal hemorrhage. In this video, we will emphasize some of the protocol's critical steps. If this is the first time that the Fetal Cell Count Kit is being used, please adjust the flow cytometer to the right settings first, following the steps in the package insert. To assess the level of fetomaternal hemorrhage, a blood sample from the mother must be collected. Running a negative and an artificially made positive control besides the maternal sample is advised. As an artificial positive control, fetal troll or adult male blood spiked with 5% cord blood can be used. Cord blood should always be washed with reagent D before use. As a negative control, adult male blood is advised. When a blood sample is stored for longer than 12 hours, the blood sample should be washed with reagent D before use. Before starting the assay, it is very important that the permeabilization solution, reagent C, is at room temperature and all crystals have dissolved. In addition, reagent D, the washing solution, should be at room temperature and diluted 10 times using demineralized water. When washing the cells, use the soft start and soft break of the centrifuge. During the assay, it is very important to avoid clump formation by mixing the cell suspensions well continuously. Mix tubes well on a vortex mixer to make sure that the cells are in suspension. Fixation and permeabilization. Add 100 microliters of reagent A and 10 microliters of blood sample into a tube and mix well by vortexing. To fixate the cells, add 100 microliters of reagent B Incubate the cell suspension for 30 minutes and vortex every 10 minutes. Wash the sample once with 2 milliliters of reagent D and centrifuge. Decant the supernatant and resuspend the cell pellet in 100 microliters of reagent D until there are no aggregates visible. Permeabilize the cells by adding 100 microliters of reagent C and incubate for exactly 3 minutes. Then add 2 milliliters of reagent D. and centrifuge the sample. Decant supernatant and repeat this washing step. Resuspend the cells in one milliliter of reagent D. The cells are now ready for staining. Staining of the samples. Add 50 microliters of reagent E and 50 microliters of reagent F, the two antibodies, and 50 microliters of cell suspension to a tube and mix well. Incubate the mixture for 15 minutes in the dark. Afterwards, wash the cell suspension with 2 milliliters of reagent D and centrifuge. Decant the supernatant and resuspend the cells in 500 microliters of reagent D and vortex. The samples are now ready to be evaluated with the flow cytometer. The samples should be assessed within 30 minutes and at least 100,000 events should be acquired. For data analysis, create a forward versus sideward scatter plot and gate the red blood cell population. Create a forward scatter area versus forward scatter width dot plot to exclude doublets. Doublets appear above the population. Finally, create a carbonic anhydrase FITSI versus hemoglobin FPE dot plot 
to determine the percentage of hemoglobin F positive cells. Place the horizontal axes of a quadrant gate directly under the hemoglobin F positive population and place the vertical axes directly left of the carbonic anhydrase positive and hemoglobin F negative population. Fetal red blood cells are located in the upper left quadrant. Maternal F cells, which can potentially interfere with the result, will be located in the higher and lower right quadrants. We hope to have given you a better insight into IQ's Fetal Cell Count Kit. For more information, consult the package insert provided with the kit.